So he already knew it was Dustin, and now we have Z chilling in in winter semis right here. I wonder who else. I feel like Camex is gonna catch up, and maybe he'll be in Grand's waiting, calling it honestly. Assuming if he's gonna put any sand back in the whole venue. And now losers is looking kind of, oh, looking kind of a little nervous, nerve-wracking right here. You got some Sano, Tito, Louis, Jesus, and Shinny and losers. Shark is everybody. And Louis, Jesus is just chilling in round three. But back to this round, we got Kamek and Shaw playing right now in game one of two. This match up last week with um, BTN when he was trying to Q actually takes the game off. So now that we have a real ball I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. But Hammock sounding like he is ready for this because I just heard a crazy force match this time. Sonic speed, he can kind of like annoy Bowser, but Bowser, I feel like, wouldn't really care unless he does that and just gets a grab or some type of move. Like, Sonic gonna have to run into his moves, and Kamek's learning from last week that he know he cannot afford to run into any of Bowser's moves. Nice grab, and Boeing Edge Guard, no, tries to stomp him with the spike. Doesn't really get the elite smash kill just yet. That was a very interesting interaction. Uh, this time the Boeing right now and gets punished with a grab, pushing him to 86%. So my man can actually get out of up, up there. That is wild. Shout out to Tough Guy. He can, so can probably keep this in mind. Like if he's standing on the plat and he goes up there, he can actually like punish him with an up smash or something. This is, man, this match should turn a lot more interesting now that I've seen Tough Guy. But good shift for Kamex keeping his composure and taking it with an up tilt. I mean, forward tilt. Right now, Sonic with a three stock lead is not cute at all, man. Like, how do you come back from this? I feel like my man Shaw would have to, like, call out his movement. Just like that, no nice forward air timing, very distraining. And lets him back to the stage for free to just to get a just to get also. You know, the thing with Shaw, he, his Bowser looks very simplistic, but at the same time, it kind of works. Because you're expecting him to do one thing on the ledge. But he'll bait out and go on the center stage just to run right back to the ledge to fool you. Kind of interesting. Oh my god, missed time for you to expect him to sit just right there. Boing. Nice tag coming back to the stage. And oh my god, jumps right over the forward smash. At this point, Sonic has to hurry up and end this man's life. And as I say it, takes away game one from Shaw. He actually bans the perfect stages for Bowser. My man probably played Leon somewhere and was like, I learned my lesson. I'm banning triplets. That's it. So, kind of curious where Bowser's gonna go. I know he pretty much doesn't want FB, but he really doesn't want to take him to. Okay, if I heard correctly, I think he's. Yeah, perfect. Perfect um, counter pick for Sonic right there. But it doesn't really. At least for Kamek's play style, it's kind of interesting because he's not like Sonic or like Sonido or something like that. Like he's, he's like a Ken Sonic. He's like very aggressive, but at the same time, it's very aware. <laughs> but not aware of that dash attack at all. Oh my god, and Shaw with 50% from just one interaction. That is why Bowser is scary as hell. Ooh, maybe trying to make him go for a tech, um, a tech scenario. Okay. Nice forward tail on um, Pivot Slide. Jump right over the dash attack. Oh, God, and he stops the flamethrower at the wall time right now. Sonic might not be able to have time to camp in this stage because it's so small, but because he's a passive character in the game, he actually can do something just like that. Running around his space, like, 
Like, if you look at the, oh my god, what a godly Paris, I'm sure. And a better down smash taking the first stock with some rage over here. Carrying him in. Oh, nice recovery. Knowing that Kamex was going to go for the forward air right there. But now, I want to see Shore kind of hold his lead, taking his time running into Shogun. At this point, he kind of wants to make Kamex run into him rather than the other way. And I'm loving these home, um, homing edge guards um, from Kamex. I've never seen no other Sonic do that. And maybe he knows something that no other Sonic knows. He could, he can be the big brain play for Sonic. What a back row. I feel like he could have lived a little longer from here. But it is a nice row. This is a nice string into a back row. And a, oh my god, it's still going. And Kamek showing why he's very consistent with these up air palm strings. That's the edge guard. Going into back air. Okay. So this matchup is really interesting. Well, you know, game one, I didn't really stand with it. I'm going to show you why I'm comfortable with the Bowser matchup. Jumps in. Right now, Shaw looked like he had a good lead when the game first started. But then that one, that one homing edge guard from the first time they did it, just kind of like fucked away his momentum. And Kamek's literally running away from this game right here. I'm gonna jab him slow to show him what I'm gonna do to you in the corner. What a weight. And that's what I like about the homing is that if you actually hit it, like hit shield or like hit the opponent itself, it's kind of cool. Just like that, my man had tough guy and still couldn't even punish it like that. Shaw would have to like hard read the hell out of that, but what a better read from Kamex right here with a 2 0. Putting Shaw off the losing. Looks like, it looks like Kamex is about to play ZT. 